Uh, right now we are here outside uh, the uh, this majestic ship INS Vikrant, and uh, you can see from the deck of the ship uh, the the new ensign of of the Indian Navy. And uh, in fact, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, while talking about uh, the new naval flag, talked about the colonial past and how India is now trying to get rid of all the signs of the former slavery of the former colonial India. And uh, the, when we talk about uh, this this majestic ship and and what all uh, the Navy has been talking about in terms of force multiplying, in terms of the capabilities of INS Vikrant, in terms of how this is not only going to increase the strength of the Indian armed forces but also it is going to bring stability, it is going to uh, bring balance of power as far as the Indian Ocean region is concerned. China, while we talk about China, it has already two aircraft carrier operational. Uh, it, it, is, it is building a third one and that originally, uh, and, and I, I know that you have also been talking about the need for a third uh, Indian aircraft uh, carrier as well. However, the second uh, Indian aircraft carrier is also going to be a major boost as far as the Indian armed forces are concerned. And uh, when we talk about uh, the Art Nirbhar Bharat or the capabilities of the Indian uh, of, of, of our country to build uh, indigenous uh, defense uh, defense equipments, this in fact is a shining beacon as far as that mission is concerned. The Navy has uh, in fact shared a brochure with us uh, as far as INS Vikrant is concerned, and it has some very interesting facts. One, the Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi was himself talking about the cables and the wirings of uh, uh, that are inside INS Vikrant that that go to to a length of 2,500 kilometers. So he was uh, talking about uh, the the cable uh, that the, the cables that have been used inside this majestic ship that can go from Kochi to Kashi, is what Prime Minister said. The other important things are, in fact, uh, the the. Uh, features that are here inside uh, INS Vikrant that include a capability of this ship to produce 4 lakh litre of uh, clean uh, water, the re uh, reverse osmosis system inside uh, INS Vikrant can in fact produce 4 uh, lakh litres of, uh, of uh, portable water inside the ship. As far as uh, the galleys of, of INS Vikrant is concerned, it can in fact uh, 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 the, the, it can produce 16,000 chapatis or six, and, and 6,000 idlis in one day. Uh, there will be 1,700 people uh, uh, on board at any point of time, including 200 officers and uh, 1,500 sailors as far as the operations are concerned. So, a uh, ship has to cater to all that as well. Uh, uh, there, are, there are about 16 beds inside the hospital, there is intensive care unit and there are other facilities as well. So, we can, we can call this a floating city, a city afloat and this is in fact going to be a, a, a major boost as far as as the naval wing of our armed forces are concerned in fact in, uh, in fact overall capabilities of indian armed forces will be multiplied because of ins vikrant and uh, with this uh, ship now finally being commissioned we can now hope that uh, the uh, the indian government for that matter will look forward uh, to get uh, or to start uh, the building up uh, to start building up uh, another aircraft carrier that has been uh, that has been a requirement that has been in fact, demand of a lot of uh, uh, a lot of experts as well as far as uh, the uh, the threats from China and Pakistan are concerned.